Hello everyone. So, in this video, we are going to cover World Bank, wherein we will look at all the five institutions of the World Bank, the functions of the World Bank and the role World Bank plays in the world economy. World Bank was founded in the year 1944. At the time, the world war to end it and so the main aim was to finance the countries which were affected because of the World War II. So the primary aim of World Bank at that time was to extend credit to the countries affected by World War II. And at the time it was known as International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Today World Bank is one of the largest source of funding and knowledge to the developing and the underdeveloped countries. Because we know that World Bank extends credit, grants, loans to the developing and the, un and the underdeveloped countries in various forms. Today, the twin goal of World Bank is to end extreme poverty by 2030 and to boost shared prosperity of the poorest 40% of the population in all the member countries. These are the twin goals, whereas the other three goals of the World Bank are reducing poverty, increasing shared prosperity and promoting sustainable development. The five institutions of the World Bank which are IBRD, IBD, IFC, MIGA and ICSID share a commitment to fulfill the goals of the World Bank. Presently World Bank has 189 member countries and the headquarters of World Bank are situated in USA. Now we will look at all the five institutions of the World Bank in more detail and by looking at these five institutions we will get to know more about the functions of the World Bank. So the first core institution of World Bank is International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, the IBRD. So the IBRD lends credit, loans, grants to the government of the middle income and the credit worthy low income countries. So those countries which falls under the middle income category and credit worthy low income countries are eligible to get loans, credits and grants from the World Bank under International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. So this is the arm of the World Bank which provides loan to them. Here countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal etc. gets loan, credits and grants. For instance, the Sankalp scheme of the government of India is financed by the World Bank. So 50% of the finance of that scheme comes from the World Bank. So that's an example that shows how World Bank assists government. Second is International Development Association. The idea provides loan at a lower interest rate or at no interest rate as well as it provides grants to the low, lower income countries or the countries which falls under the low income category. The third, the third is International Finance Corporation. The International Finance Corporation provides investment advices, other advices and asset management to the private companies, to the government companies and to the governments. Thus, International Finance Corporation performs certain specialized role and so it is also known as private sector arm of World Bank. So it helps developing countries achieve sustainable growth. The fourth institution of World Bank is Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency. The MEGA functions are very very important because first it ensures the lenders and the investors against political risk such as war. We know that the situation can arise when because of political turmoil or any other case there can be a war like situation. And in such cases, the return on investments are very, very less. And so investors are not keen to invest in such countries. And when the political uncertainty is there, then that's, in that case also investment is very, very less from the, from the investors outside the nation. So the mega treaty ensures the lenders and the investors. So it actually ensures them against the political risk. So there is an assurity that investor investment is secure. So investors investment is secure. Apart from this, it also promotes foreign direct investment. As we as we know that whenever there is a war like situation or anything, 
it is very difficult to withdraw your entire investment in a one go because whenever investment takes place in the form of fdi asset creation takes place and it becomes difficult to withdraw the entire amount apart from this the return on investments are very very less whenever political uncertainty is there or war like situations are there this mega treaty actually ensures that lenders and the investors money is insured and fdi is also promoted the fifth institution of the world bank is international center settle, center for settlement of investment disputes now in my previous video we have discussed about world trade organization there we have seen that disputes are common in international trade because price differences uh, are the thing and the subsidies are the other thing which creates the dispute similarly the investment disputes also occur between investor and countries and in order to solve the disputes different international organizations have their own platform like in case of world trade organization we have seen that they have dispute settlement board similarly world bank has international settlement for settlement of investment disputes here investment disputes between the investors and the countries are solved so it provides conciliation and arbitration facility so arbitration and conciliation facilities are provided under icsid institution so that disputes can be peacefully solved so by going through all the five institution of world bank we came across various functions of world bank extending loans credits and grants second is promoting development in the member countries third securing investors against external risk like war and promoting foreign direct investment fourth settling the investment disputes through arbitration conciliation and providing a platform for the uh, dispute resolution fifth providing assistance in form of advices asset management and investment let us look at few practice mcq questions question number 1 is why world bank was established here the correct will be to reconstruct the economies damaged during the second world war because in the in the initial part only i have said that the world bank was formed in the year 1944 and at the time it was known as international bank for reconstruction and development and the primary aim was to extend credit to the countries which were affected because of the second world war and option number 1 will be wrong because to promote international trade world trade organization is there and option number 3 is also wrong because balance of payment is dealt by international monetary fund question number second is which of the following is not the function of world bank so we are talking about not the function of world bank so here option c will be right which is to ensure exchange rate stability because exchange rate stability concerns with the imf international monetary fund and world bank has nothing to do with this whereas option number a b and d are something which are the functions of the world bank because world bank provides long term loans it provides loan to private investors and we have seen about the private arm of world bank as well and then it provides loan for productive activities sustainable development etc who is the current president of world bank group this is a current affair based question and the correct option is david malpass so thank you